Hey guys, welcome to WP Cliff Notes. My name's Cliff Kennedy. In today's tutorial, we're gonna talk about how to build a header in Elementor with Headroom.js. Guys, if you're interested in WordPress as much as I am, and you wanna learn more, stay tuned to my channel, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell to get notifications every time I post a video. All right guys, Let's jump into that video. Welcome to the computer and let's get started with this Headroom JS tutorial. So first, this is what we want the, the header to do. When we scroll down the page, we want it to disappear. When we scroll back up the page, we want it to appear. And this is the Headroom JS website, um, and this is the playground, so you can play around with settings and different things like that. Um, you can have it swing down and uh, flip. You can have it uh, flip out, um, and you can have it bounce. So do something like that, and then basically what this would do is give you the code. So, um, but we are going to do this with unlimited elements and create a custom header with Elementor Pro and unlimited elements. So basically, this is what our page looks like right now. I put some content in here so we would have a big page. And then um, basically, we're going to do that same thing with this header right here. So what we want to do is we want to go say edit and then edit the header and so we already have this header created and we're going to open this into a new tab and we've installed unlimited elements and if you don't have this plugin installed you need to go to plugins we'll open it in a new tab then add new and you can do this with the free version with unlimited elements so you don't need the pro version if you want the pro version link in the description below that you can purchase it and it is an affiliate link and it will help me more tutorials on this channel all right so we're going to type unlimited elements There it is, and I already have it installed. So you just have to act or install it and activate it. All right, so we're gonna close this window. And right now, I am gonna go to unlimited elements down here. Then I already have a couple of widgets created, um, but we're gonna hit add new widget. And we are gonna call this Headroom JS header. And then we're going to open this up. So basically, we're not going to add any HTML. Um, but we do want to add attribute where you can add your own custom ID and we're going to do a background color. So I'm going to put header ID and I'm going to type my header as a default because you can put default values in here. And I want to make this a text field. Um, then we'll hit add attribute. And then we're going to add another one. And we're going to call this um, header color. And I'm going to make this a color picker. And I'm going to leave it to white. And so now that we have that, I'm going to update it. We're going to delete this out of here. We're going to add some CSS. 
There we go. And I will um, give you all this uh, CSS as well. And we are going to add some uh, JavaScript to call the headroom JS. And basically what this will do is it will pull the default of whatever that is. So we want to make sure that in the JavaScript we have a hashtag right here because we're not going to put the hashtag right there. So we want to make sure that we say don't include pound and then we're going to hit update so no HTML we have our JavaScript and right here we're going to use Cloudflare Headroom JS um, where it's hosted on Cloudflare. So with a CDN for these JavaScript files, you can download the files and um, upload them here. But just for this tutorial, I'm going to use a CDN for all the JavaScript we need. So we're going to have two different JavaScript files. So you hit copy and we'll copy them. I'm going to paste it right here and I'm going to hit tab and then I'm going to hit add and then I'm going to copy the other one and I'm going to hit I'm going to copy it right there hit tab and then make sure you hit update and so I should have everything I need and so we're going to come back to our uh, page actually we're going to come back to our header so we're going to go to templates we're going to go to theme builder and we're going to hit edit with elementor on the headroom js header so first what we want to do is we want to go to the original header come over to advance and type my header hit update and so now that we have that in there yep my header we can add another section and then we're gonna come over here and type headroom JS for the widget and put it right there we've got my header in there we've got the color and now we're going to hit update and so now we are going to come we're going to go to the home page so open new tab and go to the home page and so now there we go so that's how that works. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Everything's working great. Um, if you wanted to come over here to the headroom and play around with some of these these things, you can do that. Um, you would just need to copy all of this. Like if we wanted to change it, I would copy this right here 
and then come over here we're gonna open this in a new tab because we want to get to the widget itself so and you this widget is on top of the other one because of the code that headroom is calling so you will want to open the navigator you will want to um, come down to the headroom JS header and hit edit widget and so I have never tried to um, modify the um, JS right here so but I think it would be pretty easy so we're just going to copy this and paste it in there and update it and we you can make this stuff dynamic so basically what we could do is we could come over here and create a an attribute that would call these certain things but just for time's sake I'm just gonna paste that in there update it and then I'm gonna come back over here hit refresh I'm gonna see if this works so basically doesn't look like it works so you'll have to play around with it to get that to work like I said I haven't played around with the settings with headroom so you would just have to play around with it I do know that if you don't have if you have the default settings that it'll work so and again if you come back over here hit refresh and it works so um, again play with the JS and see if you can get it to work if you can um, leave a comment in the description below I would love to hear uh, played around with this elementor widget with unlimited elements again I will give you all the code on my blogs guys I hope today's video about headers and headroom JS has made WordPress simple fun and easy for you. Also, if you have any comments or questions about this video, please leave them in the comment box below. Guys, my name's Cliff Kennedy, and I am signing out. I will see you later.